why someone should not be interested on listening to talks from a different community? Mm -hmm. Why someone should be stuck in a uh, X dedicated track mm -hmm. and not listen to the other community that for sure has interesting things to say? Mm -hmm. Why not have a room where it's mixed so you can get from everyone? Mm -hmm. Because I, I find absurd that a um, Grom developer or KD developer uh, is absolutely not interested in listening to something from other projects. Right, right. Uh, maybe they find new ideas. Maybe they say, oh, I could use that. Mm -hmm. Or I could help in that. Or we can discuss in making something together or similar or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a developer, usually you are interested in finding more. So that, this is yeah. why, <laughs> okay, the KDE track, okay, but uh, why not try to get more people in your track, making it a topic mm. that happens in a room? And by not having it be necessarily the KDE track or the GNOME track, it also creates this sort of... I guess, encouragement for cross-desktop talks where you might have some discussion where it's like, I don't know, integration of Rust into the Linux desktop and you have a, a KDE and a GNOME person doing the talk together rather than just, hey, we're talking about, you know, Rust in KDE, right? It, it gives you the ability to sort of foster these relationships across the desktops rather than just having them, again, be siloed into their own separate communities. Correct. I agree. And, uh, and I think it's from perhaps the broadest point of view or, you know, content creator or press, I don't know, wouldn't it be more interesting to cover, right? Mm -hmm. it would it, like, there's a potential of having more engagement, more like wow moment. Wow, I need to cover this. It's not mm -hmm. just, uh, sorry, I don't, same old, same old, they're doing their thing. These this people are brainstorming here together and they're helping each other. So I think that it, there's a potential of creating a self-feeding mechanism for growth mm -hmm. um, by just sparking the interest of the content creators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... This is a problem that I notice. So this is a bit of a side tangent. I think it's actually kind of important. A problem I notice with a lot of the... It's not just an Academy thing or a Guadec thing. I feel like all of the conferences do this, where th a lot of them don't separate... I think Academy started doing it now. Um, don't separate their talks out into separate talks. So you'll see like a an eight-hour track get uploaded to YouTube, and it's just... Okay, I don't know what happens in any of this without going and looking at the schedule. And it, it, it's like a, a minor thing and being able to like cut those up. It's little things like that do make like my life considerably easier because, you know, you can easily point someone to like, hey, here's this interesting talk. Here's this, uh, I don't know, Carl's talking about the Cosmic Desktop, for example, at some conference. And that makes it a lot easier. And then having these these topics where it's not just going to be about a singular desktop, it, I think, makes those... Ah, all good, all good. Um, makes those... He's right quitting. <laughs> makes those individual talks considerably more more interesting, right? Because I've heard I've heard GNOME people talk about GNOME things a thousand times, or KDE people talk about KDE things, but having some for uh, you know wayland is a a like good middle ground that everyone kind of meets on there's a lot of a lot of arguments that happen in wayland but it, it's something that everybody's involved in working in so being able to hear the the different perspectives from the different desktops in a way where it's not arguing about the implementation it's hey we've come together here and we're going to discuss you know how all of this fits together why we're taking these different approaches and giving people sort of a this is this is one of the reasons I like doing this show. I like showing that there are actually people working in Linux. It's not just usernames, it's not just profile pictures. There are actually people involved in this and it's 
I don't know. I think it, it really does help to humanize these projects and give people more of an insight into the fact that, yeah, they're, they're, there's people who are doing this and they're, they're all doing really cool things. Even if you don't use their project, even if you don't agree with all of the choices they make, there are still people involved in doing this. I think they are doing a fantastic job and I also always like to do this. Um, these people, these are wonderful people. <laughs> and sometimes somebody, you know, from the internet, you read a comment, you don't, you're busy, you, you see the reply, you take it, you don't know who this is, you might say, how dare this person say this? While if you talk to these people in person, you have more time to find out, you'll find out that they, all the people that I've met from both GNOME and KDE and many other projects have a really good heart and good intent. Mm -hmm. And and it helps to know, you know, you can kind of build a rapport a, and and you know that they mean well. And it's something that is very, very hard to do from a text line right. in a git comment or a discourse forum and uh, i think you got that spot on yeah i think one of one of the things i would really hope the conference like this would be able to do is foster more of a collaborative relationship amongst the projects because I'm, I'm sure people don't necessarily hate each other, but you do see a lot of... I'm, I'm, look, I'm sure there's some people that hate each other. I'm not going to speak for everyone. <laughs> but as like a, a general basis, most people, they're kind of just doing their own work. And a lot of the interaction that... If you're someone who develops KDE all day, every day, and someone else is a GNOME developer all day, every day, you're not going to really have that many chances to interact with people from these other projects. And providing this this shared space where you can really just, you know, get to know each other, have a beer or what, a juice, I don't know, whatever you feel like drinking, um, and really get to know each other from the other projects like you can already with your existing conferences. I would hope that would be able to ease some of the tension that does tend to arise in these cross desktop discussions like you know Wayland and places like that where it can kind of feel sometimes like people just don't see each other's point of view because they don't really have a chance to interact with that point of view i'm sold when do we start <laughs> Oh, we're doing it in Australia now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, make make it suck for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the five Australian devs, we're 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 doing great. Everyone else, enjoy your 30-hour flights. <laughs>